your line. Come down a little lower. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Mike here, at RC Trucks and Stuff. Uh, we got Rosie behind the camera. Hi. And we were going to do a tug of war today. So, right now, we got a little late start. Been kind of hectic this morning, but we got everything charging up. Um, they should all be. I wanted to make a fresh, you know, have them all fresh batteries and everything before we get started. But I will let you guys know the weights. We'll be right back. Talk to the people. Talk to the people. Hmm. Well, we got our Devastator down there. We got our three axials. And his Jeep. Two so, of the axials are open. Do you have any preferring order of which we go in? I don't see anybody even on. Hmm? I don't even know. Oh, that's fine. Um, well, I think we should test the axials out together, you know, because they're all the same. See who's stronger than the other. Right. And honestly, I feel it's going to come down to weight um, because they are all pretty much the same besides the Devastator and the RGT and also my Axial, which is upgraded. It does have a, a bigger motor, um, slightly better motor, and the weight is changed around, and I have a heavy speaker in there, so that gives a lot of weight too. So... From weight, we'll go from lightest to heaviest. Our lightest is the white Rubicon. Can we see it? Yep, yeah, it's in there. That is our lightest, weighing at 233.1 grams. It's not a bad weight. It's fully stock besides the winch, little plastic winch on there, and a snorkel. That is the only modifications to this ones, and they're not even modifications, they're just aesthetics. Um, second will be the Axial Silver C10, which is this guy. And he weighs at 237.9 grams. This is Rosie's vehicle she just got pretty sexy. Uh, this one is stock besides the front diff. There is a 9 gram uh, front differential cover on there. So that is the weight difference. Uh, that's where you can really tell right here 237.9 versus 233. You know that's not quite 9 grams but um, it's definitely a difference. So that'll be interesting between those two. I think it's going to come down to those two being the most even. Um, and then next we have our Defender. The RGT Defender. This is honestly the weakest. It has the strongest motor. Well, as strong as this one and I believe uh, the Devastator. All these, the Axial C10 mine, uh, the modern one, uh, the Devastator. And the RGT uh, Defender, well, it's called Adventurer V2. Uh, and the only reason why that's different is because it's got a front mount. It's a, it's a front-mounted motor, so that gives uh, good weight on the front. Uh, but this is the weakest vehicle. This is only running at 3.6 or 3.7 volts, whereas the rest of them are running at 7.4 volts. So, <coughs> but... Uh, the difference is, I did put the Axial's truck tires on this one. That's... <coughs> no, just shut the door. But, um, yeah, the truck tires, I put the truck tires on here, and I put the Jeep tires on my truck. Uh, I just like the way it looks better. I think this looks better on the Jeep than they did the truck. Um, and versus and vice versa, it looks better on my truck um, than the other way. But I do have wheel weights coming, so I will probably be going back to these, or I will be taking the Jeep's wheels and putting on my truck because I like the black wheels on that. I don't like the silver. I'm not too big of a – like I said, it looks good on this one, so I might be doing that. Uh, but this one weighs in at 
262.1 grams, which is uh, quite a big difference between the other ones. Uh, that's about a 30 gram difference. So that'll be interesting. And then next we have the Sea Green Axial C10. Uh, that one weighs at 303.6 grams. Like I said, that's because of all the weight from the speaker and a couple extra mods and stuff I put in there, the sound card, whatnot. Uh, that's where all your extra weight comes in. Now, your heavier, heaviest, of course, because, I mean, this thing has a ton of metal on it, is the Devastator, and that weighs at 306.6 grams. Um, but I, I'm, I'm curious to see which one's going to do better because of these tires. These tires are not as soft as all these other ones. So I'm very curious. I, I do want to run them all together. I want to tow each one of them individually together. So that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to take one, and then we'll run it against all of them. And then the winner of that one will advance forward, and then we'll just do that. And then the last two, they'll go up against each other. So <coughs> let's see where we at on the charging deal. Still red, uh, still red, where are we at, and we're still red, well shoot, and the Devastator is still charging, this is the only one that has a fresh battery, because I have multiple batteries for it, it was my first truck I got, so, um, well shoot, looks like we're going to be waiting around for these batteries to charge. One thing that is, like I said, is going to be interesting is the tires. Uh, these tires are not near as spongy as the rest of them. But if it had tires, I would have to say I would give it to the Devastator just out of the gate because of the weight factor. Um, it is the heaviest truck, and it is one of the most capable, and it is a, a crawler, crawler by definition. Um, so I think it's going to come down a lot to weight, honestly, and and wheels. <coughs> I will be doing a review on this guy here pretty soon. Um, he is pretty awesome. This is the Volvo Escalator. Uh, it's a 1 16th scale. Um, I'm trying to, because when I got it, one of the pieces... It comes with uh, three different attachments. It comes with a bucket, a jackhammer, and a claw. And the claw didn't work. Um, so I'm a little disappointed in that. So I'm trying to see if the warranty is going to cover that. Or I'm, I'm contemplating just sending it back and, uh, you know, exchanging it, getting a better one. I don't know. Um, but I'm kind of up in the air on that one. So that's why I really haven't done anything with this yet. I've been uh, trying to figure out if they're going to uh, do anything with that. They're going to cover that or not. Uh, one thing we will be doing in the future, well, at least I will be doing, um, I will be going over each individual truck and what I've done to them and what I think about them, uh, what I thought about them. As stock, you know, I meant to do unboxings and stuff, and, and I just didn't get into it until here more recently. So, and I've gotten a new setup and everything. Um, I'm not currently using that, but um, I do have um, a new setup and everything. So, I've been trying to work with that. Uh, I do want to go over each of my trucks, uh, do an overview of everything, uh, especially the one I'm modding out. I want to go through over all the changes because right now I still have a stock C10 pretty much. So it runs the, the, the exact same as this one did. So um, we can get a good comparison with that one. Like I said, the only difference is that uh, nine gram diff cover. Uh, that's the only difference right off the bat. Uh, but the major thing is this motor and transfer case um, in this one. I got the uh, different transmission case for the motor. So between that and the motor, it makes a huge difference, even with the stock ESC. 
Um, I do have a few Future Tech um, ESCs coming. These ESCs are supposed to be phenomenal. Uh, I've seen them in action. They're really epic. I can't wait to get them. Uh, I'm going to be running it with this remote, this transmitter. Let me get it. I have this awesome radio link transmitter. Focus here, camera. Sorry, it's a little dark, but yeah. But this is a four channel transmitter. Uh, I love the display on it, it's an LCD display. Let's see, that's it. There we go. And then you can scroll through, you can pick out, oh, come on, focus. There you go, camera. So you can, oops, it's got 23 different settings. So you could pick different models. I think I could program up to 10 different models with this. So I can run 10 different vehicles with this one remote and give them all individual aspects, which I'm really excited for, especially with this ESC coming up. Uh, acceleration, uh, your uh, brake system, your throttle speed, uh, your threshold, your steering. I mean, it just goes on and on. Uh, sub trim, reverse. Um, I mean, you have so much here. It's even got a gyro, you know, so there's so much on this radio that's going to help out that I'll be able to control every aspect of the truck. And I will be hooking it up with this one, of course. So he'll be getting a full upgrade here soon, as soon as that ESC comes in. Thank you. <coughs> Uh, last night, I did just post the uh, review on the fire truck. There we go. Which I think is pretty epic. It's a toy grade, of course. But for being a toy grade and only, what was it, 12 bucks, And to have a working fire and canning, cannon, sounds, lights, Ladder. the whole works, ladders, yeah. It comes with its own little funnel to fill it up. I mean, you really can't beat that for 12 bucks. Let's check our batteries. This is my portable battery charging station. Uh, yes, I'm using it in the house. It's just easier. I got so many things plugged in everywhere. There's just not enough plugs in this house. We have like just downstairs between the four rooms just downstairs there's only like maybe six plugs all together in between all of them so i like to use this a lot i charge it up and as you can see i can run a lot of different things off of it and i can charge it up in the car you can home. jump start the car yeah the jump tires starts in the, the car yeah. yeah it's got pretty much everything on it lights camera action yeah yeah actually we could you know like they do much that's the only thing i didn't like these lights are very dim i mean it helps out when it's very dark but you know it does have the compressor so very loud <coughs> come on cars let's get charged here are we still red is that one red or is that one green that one's still red Still right. Mr. Colorblind. Actually, we've decided he's not colorblind. He's color dyslexic. Yeah, it's kind of a pain because it's like I know what they are, but I just don't see them as that color. It's just weird. Well, there's not really a lot left to cover at the moment. So. I'm fixing to just jump into this. I mean, I really wanted to give them all brand
brand new batteries, you know, a fresh charge. But they, I mean, I haven't been running them that much, so they shouldn't be that dead, honestly. I don't know why they're taking so long to charge. Maybe because I don't have them on a real charger, huh? How about that? <laughs> That could be it. Maybe it's because it's not plugged into the wall. <laughs> hey, it's portable power. Hey, portable power works too. Whatever you know, works. It's like Nintendo, Game Boy, playing with power, portable power. <coughs> so, honey, what do you plan on doing with your truck? What do you want to do with yours? I think I'm going to paint it pink. You want to paint it? No, I don't know, honestly. <laughs> if I do, it's not going to be pink, that's for sure. Maybe pretty blue. I like that color blue. I think that would be really nice, like a baby blue. Nah, dark a blue. A candy blue? Oh, dark blue. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I could do baby blue, but it has to be a Camaro. I mean, anybody who knows oh, me knows. Oh, that's green now. Yep, yeah, that one's green. Hey, we got a green one! Winner, winner, chicken dinner in my truck. Hey, hey, we got one. We got a match right now. Okay, finally. So, we have the silver C10. It, it, that's like a very dark silver. It looks gray. It's gray. It is gray. Yeah, it looks gray to me. It doesn't look silver. Right. But they call it silver, so that's what it is. Sorry, silver has metallic flex, flex in it. That doesn't. I would say I would post the links to all these cars below, but currently they're pretty much all unavailable besides the Devastator and the RGT Adventure. Uh, you can find those pretty much anywhere. Banggood, Amazon, eBay. Uh, I've been getting mine mostly from eBay. Uh, just because it is cheaper than Amazon. Hi, Mike. Hi, Erica. Or Mike and Erica. They hello. just joined us. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. We are about to have a tug off between the C10 and the RGT. So let's get these guys fired up. Let me tip you down just a little bit so we can see it get on the floor. Let's make sure we're connected here. Okay, got one. Now, let's make sure this area is in focus because yep. this is going to be the main area, I think. Yep, there's someone like that. We'll move this out of the way. We got too much junk. <laughs> borderline hoarder status. Only borderline, though. Borderline. Only not borderline. Yet. At least it's not trash. It's all usable, cool stuff. Yeah. We have Anki back there in the back corner. That's a one. Needs new batteries though. They all all the cars need new batteries. Is that the right one? Nope. We just need to have a big play date for everybody to come over and play with all our goodies. Well, that's kind of the point of this group. We we just wanted to start a group to where, you know, if you're interested in the hobby, this summer we plan on, you know, doing more stuff outdoors and everything and we just want to get people together and join us and, and um, you know, have a good time. Camaraderie. Meet new people, meet new friends. So we're gonna hook this one up on the bumper. And then for this one, to give it lower, we're gonna go on the axle for this one. Um, because if you go on the body, it's just gonna flip it backwards. So we're going to go on the axle. Um, are we in view? All in view. Okay. You want to take your C10? Let me get this guy out. I got mine. Okay. So what we're going to do is that we're going to start off easy throttle, and then we'll get more into it. We need a we need a line. A stick. To see who wins. We need a line here. So that looks about even to me. This isn't nothing professional. Okay, so it's about even. So let's 
ease on the throttle. Okay, ready? Uh -huh. Here we go. Go. Oh, got her. <laughs> I didn't take long. <laughs> we'll do two out of three. Okay. We'll do the same thing. We'll ease into it, and then we'll go for it. Three, two, one. Not fair. Man. So that that just baffles me right here, okay? Because if you just joined us, in the beginning I was saying these are 7.4 volts. This is only a 3.7 volt. This does have a better motor in it, but it is less voltage. Um, but it is heavier. It is heavier by almost 30 grams. So I think that has a massive amount to do with it. That 30 grams is just crazy. And the motor, honestly. Um, just sitting there. I mean, look, yeah, she can't even pull me. I was gonna win. So, I was gonna win. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that just, that's just crazy that this guy is that powerful right out of the box. So we shut him down. Silver gray didn't work. She's a, she's a loser. Rosie's the loser. So Silver's out of it. Well, actually, Silver gets to go against uh, uh, the Jeep now, but this is the winner of that round. Oh, right still there? Yeah, because we wanted to do it against the, uh, okay. the uh, one. Okay. Ready here? Let's go ahead and unplug the rest of these. We're going to turn the rest of these off. They're pretty much all charged up. By the time everything's done, these guys are going to be a little low on power. So we'll quit charging them now. All right, let's get them set up. They said um, the Jeep is pretty much stock. These are just aesthetics. There is no weight or anything else put on it besides the little winch and snorkel, and those things weigh almost nothing. Um, the C10 right now is four ounces four point something ounces heavier i'm gonna hook them both up to the axle and we're gonna go about even right there let me turn them on that would help mike they need power awesome power awesome okay i'm gonna pull them just a little bit need a jeep controller go okay so same thing Oops, careful don't stomp on them same thing we'll ease into it and we'll stretch it out and then we'll go so let's stretch ready three two one how i don't know how? they're just stronger and bulkier how is that? Is it the frame of the Jeep? Is it the Jeep frame? Is it just that? Because it's 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 definitely more compact, you yeah. know, but it's lighter. That's the thing that's that's baffling me. Mm -hmm. So let's try again. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Yeah, I don't know. That's so weird. <laughs> That's crazy. That mugger just walked all over. <laughs> yeah, the Jeep does that. Let's switch sides. Here, you want to try this one? You try the Jeep. I'll try the C10. Let's see. Let's see if it's the side or anything. If it's the person? Let's see. It could be the operator. All right, so we're going to do it again. We're going to ease into it. Okay. Three, two, one, go. No. <laughs> Walking off with it. Yeah. The truck just bounces. So there's no, <laughs> yeah, there's no, like, even just right here. Like, I'll try to crawl. Just try to pull it. 
Yeah, there's... The truck is weak. It definitely needs some weight. Here, yeah, go. Yeah, no. Yeah, that Jeep. Oh, boy. The Jeeps are just on a killing spree. Evil little Jeeps, aren't they? I'm telling you, the Jeeps are monsters. So two Jeeps, they're up for the win. Um, I'm pretty much just going to call this guy. He, he's out of the competition. He's a loser. Um, the only one I do here, let's try him one more. And we'll go with the Devastator. I think he might be able to pull this one. I don't know. Only reason why I say that is because of the tires. The tires are harder, and these are much squishier, softer tires. So we'll try one more. I'm trying to give this guy a chance. I really am. Because, <laughs> I mean, th that was my truck. So, I mean, I'm like, come on, truck. You, 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 you're killing me here. The Jeeps are stopping all over you. You're supposed to be Chevy tough. All right. All right, now, like a rock, let's uh, get me a promote. We're going to rock show out. Or do you want this one? No, it's mine. Okay. So here we go. Same thing. Devastator C10. Let's see. Oh! Hold on. We're getting way off. Off kilter. Yeah. Try to steer into it when you go off crazy. <laughs> There's just no way. This poor truck. I, I guess I'm going to have to get a bigger engine. He definitely. We definitely need another motor and weight. It definitely needs weight. I think weight would... Uh, Didn't weights come in the wheels, or did you take those off of mine and put them on yours? Uh, yeah, I got the hubs. Yeah. yeah. Takes the the ones off mine. <laughs> I paid for it. You did. <laughs> but it's my birthday present. <laughs> but she's going to get them back because I got wheel weights on the way. All right, so that was the Devastator. So the C10, the Silver C10, is officially out of the competition. He is a her. So now we go uh, Devastator and Rubicon. Sure. Are we still in view? Yeah, we're still in view. All right, so here we go. Devastator, Rubicon, and it's funny, like I said before, the Rubicon is four grams lighter than the C10. It just, it, it has to be, motor. it has to be the stance. It, it, it's got to be the stance of the vehicle. It, it, it surprises me that on such a small scale that that really honestly matters because it would matter in, in real life, you know, I mean, this is real life, but I mean, in real scale, full scale, uh, it just surprises me that it matters on such a small scale. It's, it's funny. All right. Okay. Ready? Yeah, we're ready? Yep. Seize into it. Three, two, one, go. No. Devastator got the Jeep. Okay. Here we go again. Three, two, one. Can you pull it just? Okay, down? No. No, nope. Devastator took this one too. Yep. Devastator took the Rubicon. All right. Rubicon. Okay, Devastator won against you. So now it's up to the Rubicon and the RGT. Let's see what Jeep comes victorious. The double Jeeps. 
I'm uh I'm 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 pretty curious on this one. Get that turned off. What's going on here? I hate the way the switch is on this one. You can never tell. And then you turn it off and on and off and on and it seems to What's going on here? There it goes. I don't know why it was being a, a pain in the butt, but okay. All that's there, all that's up. Let's hook it up to the bumper on the axle. Let's come out a little bit more. Oh, probably not too much. I want to get out of it. Yep, you're good. Out there? We're good. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so we'll get the Devastator out of the way. All right, so here we go. And three, two, one. There we go. It took a minute. I, I like didn't have the power. Look at that. That's just crazy. <laughs> that is just crazy. Right, it's honestly going to be between your Jeep and your, your axle. Here we go. Oh, look at you. Look at you go. Yeah. That, the RGT, that just that baffles me. That really does. It is the cheaper car. It's stronger. It has less power. It's just crazy. So could you imagine this vehicle with a 7.4 LiPo in it? I mean, it would just be unstoppable with some weight. Yeah, I, I, think, I think upgrading this one would be the way to go. So if you didn't have the money or if you didn't want to wait for something like this, which these are great, especially right out of the box. They're phenomenal. They look epic. Uh, but I mean, for the money, this thing was like 92 bucks, 90 bucks, something like that. And I bought the three year warranty. So it came out to like 103 altogether. So 103 bucks, you can't beat it. And upgrades and stuff for these old things are dirt cheap. ESCs, eight bucks. You know, you can get a decent receiver for like 30 bucks. And I mean, there you go. And then you just buy a new battery and you can really do some cool things with them, I bet. Uh, okay, so he is a winner. He is on the winner board. Um, so let's go Devastator and Jeep. Now, this is where it should get really interesting with these two. One for me and one for you. Okay, so Rosie is driving the Devastator. I will be driving the Defender. And in three, two, one. Yeah, look at those tires. They're just sliding. She ain't going to go nowhere. But there we go. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh, pulling me now. Got me now. <laughs> Too little, too late. <laughs> oh, you got to be quicker than that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do this again because uh, it does have the capability to pull the RG. So let's see what happens on this one. In three, two, one. Nope. You start pulling it later on. That's weird. You get at that angle. Sorry. That's the only place it was going. <laughs> <laughs> so, clear winner here. RGT. And honestly, the reason why I kept him for last is because he does weigh 
basically the most besides the Devastator. And I knew those wheels were going to be a problem. If the RGT can pull it, the Devastator, then I know for sure this one is. But just for shiggles, we'll do it really quick. Because why not? We said tug of war. Let's tug off. Giggity. I'm not tugging anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to tug. All right, let me turn these off. Uh, you want that one on? Oh, I want this yeah, one. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we're still gonna do the Devastator just for shigs. But like I said, I know if the RGT. Hold on, I'm turning around. If the RGT can pull the Devastator, I guarantee, and this one's going to. Beauty. Go ahead and pull forward. Now I can't do that in real life. <laughs> There we go. Oh, let me turn. I'll back into everything behind me. <laughs> there we go. And I'm not afraid to admit it. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Last one. Well, not last one, but. Okay, we ready? Yep. Three, two, one. No competition at all. Here, let's get back out of here and uh, go ahead. Here, we'll, we'll come out here so you guys can really see it. Here, let me make sure we can really see this because, I mean, just watch. Go ahead. No competition. Here, I'll help you out. Get you straight again so I can. Oh, you're hung up on a wire trying to use the wire to your advantage. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. RGT and C10 is the final bout. Poor Devastator. He he made a good fight. I think he could win if he had uh, uh, stickier tires. Um, if he had better tires, I think he would take the cake, honestly, because he is the heaviest, and he does have massive crawl ability. Um, but so does he now, since I put that new motor and that transfer case on there. So very capable now. Final bout will be the RG and the C10. Place your bets now. Which one is this? Which one is this? This is the RG. Okay, so I will be driving the C10, and Rosie's driving the RGT, and start her up. Three, two, one. You might have to pump the throttle on that one. Like, yeah. Yeah, no. RGT is just not going to win this one. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I was going with all my might. So, we can try it again. Now, go ahead. Go into it. Oh, look at it. Look at it go. Definitely puts up the biggest challenge. <laughs> but as you can see, the clear winner. is the sea green c10 the axial and that is because of the upgraded motor and the extra weight uh, i got this 
really heavy speaker in here, so it makes it very, very heavy. It's over 40, what, 40, no, over 60 grams heavier um, than these other vehicles, and it's uh, over almost 50 grams heavier than the RGT. So that is a huge difference. Um, it, it, like I said, it was going to come down to weight and wheels. So I think that's going to do it for now. Thank you guys all for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed. Um, continue to check out for more. Um, I will be hosting more events, and I will be going over more of these vehicles in detail. Until next time, bye.